Okay, so you guys have uh, heard word of uh, someone who's interested in uh, some assistance going into the sewers to investigate some disappearances. Um, there was a notice posted uh, both in the Church of Septimus and the Church of Tyr looking for brave companions to uncover the mystery of the uh, missing sanitation workers. Hello there. So what's going on here? Oh, you're just in time. Um, Lake, you're going to be playing uh, Kraz. He is uh, setting up an expedition into the sewers to uh, investigate the missing sanitation workers. There have been some disturbances and questions and a lot of people are afraid and has crashed the invincible. Um, you've taken up the challenge <clears throat> of uh, finding out what the problem is and recruited a couple of people. Um, one from the Church of Septimus. You actually know him. He doesn't realize that he's coming to work with you. And another one from the Church of Tear. All right. Did you get a chance to uh, read the docs? I'm reading the character description now. I was just in a moment. All right. Um, I had read most of the first one, but it's not all. It's been a while since I did this. Okay. And then, yep. All right. I just need to look up these feats and um, fast healing one. I'm not familiar with by Sim or faith healing one. That's the one in your campaign where you can heal a person of your faith more easily, right? Yes. It gives you eight points instead of 2d4. Okay. Um, I'm going to be looking some stuff up, but if you want to proceed with the others, that's fine. I'll just <clears throat> catch up organically. No worries. I'll mute in the meantime. Okay, so you guys arrive at the Rusty Nail and uh, find uh, Brother Kraz sitting at the table um, waiting for you. Uh, Odo, when you uh, arrive, he immediately uh, calls out to you and asks you what you're doing here. Uh, as I walk in the door, I look over at him and I'm... Uh... I just like say I saw the uh, help the help needed uh, poster, and I'm here to give my assistance. As I look up at him, and what assistance would someone so tiny be able to render? The the work I can do with a dagger and sword will amaze. And I pull out my masterwork short sword and dagger. And kind of do a little flip with my dagger through my fingers. Okay. You got any uh, checks you can roll for that? Um, I could maybe do a um, sleight of hand for the dagger flipping. Finger, finger into my finger. Sure. Go ahead. 13. Not too shabby. He is mildly impressed with your uh, playing with the dagger. I was like, I, I hope you're just as good with it when we're facing the evils of the dark. I welcome them. So does the Church of Tears. Welcome to fight. We will test your tiny metal. 
Are you here to help as well, Odo? I'm here to help whoever's in need. I knew I could count on you. Have you heard anything about what's going on? I have not. Don't forget to change your names. Where are you, Joe? Where are you? Oh, sorry, uh, Lake. I didn't <laughs> give you control of your character. I still have it in my name. Hang on a sec. I'm in the inn. <laughs> sorry, yeah. There you go. Just change your name. I um don't can't see anything. Is it to uh, have lighting or visibility? Yeah, I just have to give you sight. I can see everything because I'm the DM, so I didn't set up the token right. All right. right. Should be able to see now. Great, thank you. All right, Tinker, what's your name? I'm Flynnfire. You can call me Flynn for short. Yeah, I'm not seeing you anywhere. That's because he's outside. He hasn't come into the tavern yet. No, I'm in the tavern. No, you're on the patio. Oh, where the fuck's... On the other side of the wall, where the fire is. Am I supposed to be half size? You're not supposed to be, but not a big deal. I made the other token smaller just so they don't look so ridiculous in the scale. But I just slapped you guys on, so I can shrink your token if it makes you feel better. If anyone's half sized here, it is me. There you go. You're both dinky. You have to hold down alt if you want to put yourself somewhere off the grid. Otherwise it just flicks you to the corner. Okay, so the plan is we will enter the uh, sewer. I've got some basic directions from one of the uh, sewer workers um, there's a manhole on the north uh, west end it opens up uh, close to the area and uh, he said that was the area that the workers had entered through they were doing service on some of the tunnels and didn't report back um, then the uh, the city watch was alerted and they sent a patrol down and they didn't return either and since then they have uh, made the sewers in that section um, off limits and nobody else has entered we will go investigate and find out what's going on Yes, yes, that was my plan. But first we drink. And he calls out to uh, Brecca and waves her over. Round for my friends. What are you guys having? I'm always, I'm always ready for a good ale. I'll go for an ale. And tell me, Brecca, what is the finest wine that you serve at this establishment? Uh, we do have a bottle of Gravein. It's one of the uh, greatest uh, wineries in the land. Um, we have some elven wine and we have house wine. It's pretty good. Perhaps um, a glass for of uh, the house wine for me and my associates very well she uh runs off to grab your drinks 
Um, as she's walking away, she asks if you would like anything to eat. Hmm. He, uh, he says, uh, not for now, and he gives her a wink. She kind of looks a little disturbed and continues on her way. Yeah. I, I didn't make this character. <laughs> I, I, <know. laughs> I just, that just feels like something John would do with that character, though. It's just from the description. So I just posted the two uh, menus. They should be, you should be able to see them in the uh, handouts section anyway, but that's what we got. So she comes back. Um, she kind of walks around the table and uh, serves from the other side from where Kraz is. And uh, then uh, asks if you need anything else. Uh, I say I'm good, ma'am, and kind of tip my hat. Wish her a good day. Okay, so you guys uh, have a drink and uh, shoot the shit. And anything anyone wants to cover before we head in? Good on mine. Um, Crass will probably complain a bit about the necessity of going into the sewers. But uh, as long as he gets a good chance to clean off after and, well, do some good. It'll all be worth it. Okay. Okay, so you guys, uh, Finish up your drinks and then uh, head over to the uh, the access uh, point where the manhole is and uh, descend into the sewer. I really hate this view because I can only see like half of my maps. I'm just uh, fixing my little issues. So the very first thing you notice as you uh, open up the manhole and look in is that uh, it's very dark down there. Uh, my good Sir Kraz, do you have a light spell you could cast on yourself? Hmm. He says, um, perhaps now you would like to see. And he um, raises his hand up, flicks his fingers, casts his light horizon, and uh, says, um, finishes the sentence by saying, uh, this, these golden locks. He sort of shakes his hand around, or his head around like Prince Charming. I already love this character. Okay, I'll stick a light spell on you. You're just casting it on yourself? Uh, 
Yeah, I think he'll just cast it on his himself. Maybe his armor. Armor, sword, whatever. Okay, as you guys are fiddling around in the uh, the darkness, uh, you can roll a perception check. Fifteen, I'll add plus four, but luck bonus, so nineteen. Nice. One second. Not wasting any time using up that luck bonus. I've got, I saw the way, um, what's his face wasted? I'm not going to waste him. Mike, Mike, that's his name. Yeah, what's his face? I think Mike used his very effectively, like, didn't always use them all up, but that was a rather vicious game, so. Um, yeah. He was always well, if worried I got him, I got him. wanted to have a couple left over. True enough. Okay. Um, uh, Flynn and Odo, you hear um, some scurrying down the hall in the darkness. Kraz, you continue to do your hair. Um, do I care to see off of uh, his light? Because I still... Did you give him light? Oh, I might not have made it. Everybody uses it. I see ten feet. Or five feet. There you go. You should be able to see now. Oh, yeah. See, this is what happens when you rush through. When you're supposed to play the other game, but the players are whining about playing this game. Um, does it look like there's an end to this tunnel? Sorry, what was that? Is there, can I see an end at the top? Sorry, my dog's being a fucking nuisance right now. You cannot see the end of the tunnel, although I'm going to double your vision because you have low light, right? Always play those characters that fuck with you. Oops, realized I can't fix that. Sorry, what was that? Uh, no, no worries. Um... Okay, well, I can uh, tell Kraz that there's there's some scurrying. I hear something. Mm, they retreat already from our advance. Forward! Okay, as you guys rush uh, down the hallway, um, a large rat comes around the uh, corner. And as it pops out, I'm drawing my sword and dagger. All right, bring it on. Oh, uh, John, would I roll for my slowest weapon? Obviously, you roll for your uh, main hand, whatever your main hand is. Okay, the short sword. Yeah, whatever your standard action is is your initiative modifier. Wow, you guys suck. I rolled crap too, but you guys really suck. Wow, we all really suck. Okay, well, you're all completely flat-footed. The, uh, the dire rat runs up. He seems to be... Uh, Fever feverishly maniacal and kind of looks rabid. And he rolls a one attacking the uh, the monk, so he does nothing. Almighty Kraz, go! 
now that we've got all those ones out of the way. <laughs> all right. How about the vermin? I think he will try to use just some. I can learn what this ability does. Deific strike. Okay. Uh, He's minus have... four, f firing into combat with uh, the rat, though. Oh, I forgot that was a ranged attack. Okay, well, he'll just strike it with a greatsword. Why not? Because he sucks, that's why. Okay, so then we're on to Odo. Yeah, I don't think it's worth spending any points to boost them. And I miss. We're off to an amazing start. Flynn, you're up. Uh, the rat's right there, right? Yep. Can you not see it? Yeah, I can. I'm going to try and... Uh, no one getting into a flank position, you guys. Um... Oh, I Are you had to try and up. tumble past it. I'm gonna try to tumble past it. Can I like go there and then tumble there? Uh, yep. Try right there. Yep, you can go 15 feet when you tumble. And that's uh, just uh, an acrobatics, right? Yep, acrobatics DC 15. 18. Nice. I'm gonna smack it with my sword. 18. Here's where the damage comes, boy. You still get your dagger attack, too. Oh, shit. Okay. So that's a different modifier. Just got to check that. Rogue to weapon in a flank position. And I crit on the second. So first roll. Uh, actually, I got to... Confirm. That's short sword. Sneak attack on short sword. That is 16 points from the short sword. I kill it, Holy I think. Holy shit. I just rolled 16 on the short sword, and then 9 plus max, which is... It's dead. Uh, yeah, that's pretty close. It doesn't have any damage reduction, so yeah, it'll be over 24. Okay, I interject on, interject on behalf of Kraz. The little guy is useful. <laughs> God, that was... Hmm. Surely the gods favor you. I just kind of, I just kind of wink at Kraz. Believe me now. I've always believed in you. I kind of give a weary look, like, uh, okay. <laughs> he he's a good guy, but he can't help but come across condescending and everything. Hey man, just because I'm two foot seven doesn't mean he can bully me. Well, he said he believed in you. He just said in a creepy, weird way. <laughs> You're short, even, even for a halfling? Hmm. Yeah, man, I want to be super short for a halfling. Fair enough. I seem to remember your weight being really low, and I was like, that's weird. I want to be a tiny, tiny character, but not, like, pixie tiny. Because yeah. I can't wait for Odo to throw me into combat. Halfling tossing. Okay, so what are you guys <laughs> doing from here? <laughs> I'm going to go poke... I'm just going to go poke my head around the corner. Because I can see this opening.
I got 12 on my perception. You do not perceive anything. Uh, after you, Mr. Crab. Does Crass perceive anything? You can hear something down the hall uh, making kind of a a shuffling sound, more like a dragging or sliding sound. Was the hall to the east? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Something is shuffling or dragging down that hallway. My dagger needs something to stab. I'm going to try to sneak in there and see if I can see. We've got your back. That's, uh... The light. That, yeah, that's true. Um, well, I got a one, but I rolled a 16 on my stealth up to here. I'm going to luck that so I don't ruin this, bring it up to a 20. And then from this corner, see if I can hear anything. Oh, I just see a wall when I poke around the corner. Okay, well, I look back at Kraz and I tell him to keep the light close, but don't shine it on me. So he comes and stands right behind you. So I move up even, I sneak up for it. Hmm. Okay. okay, that's a 30. 30 for your uh, stealth? 29 for my stealth. Yep, up to here. Okay, you can roll a perception check. 16. You can hear something coming around the, uh, around the corner on the passage to the north ahead. Um, I, I look back and kind of do a waving motion. Uh, I hear something, kind of mouthing it to them. Hmm. Do you do a waving motion like, come here, or stay back? Like, come here, waving motion, like, come here, as I mouth right. I hear something. Coming from the north, coming from the north corner up there. I kind of point and I kind of... Say here, point to my ear and say, "Here's something from the north northern passage." Hmm. Perhaps this time we should proceed cautiously. He smiles and charges forward. Okay, Kraz, around the corner comes a weird snake-like creature with tentacle face and uh, big nasty beak. Hmm. All right. Well, Kraz will say, uh, um, what would he say? He would say, uh, ah, serpent of evil. Right. Raise a sword. Prepare to strike. Okay. Man, for a super dexterous, dexterous rogue, I'm rolling shit for my initial. Yes, you are all doing pretty awful. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, Odo, you're up. The creature seems very interested in Kraz. I'm going to attempt to do a tumble to get to there. Now he's getting it. So you're not taking an action this round? That's just my move to get there, right? You can only uh, tumble 15 feet as a move action. 
you had to move up first, didn't you? Or did you just five foot? Yeah, five foot swift and then move and then I'm about to punch him. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. Did. I thought you moved up your a few feet first. Is that damage reduction five for magic? Yep. So I do zero damage. Oh, yeah, you don't. You're Vow of Poverty, so you don't have all your perks yet. It's okay. That exponential growth on the Vow of Poverty monk is stupid. Okay, then we are on to the Grick. The Grick will continue to focus his attention on uh, Kraz. I don't like all these rolls. We are level one, right? Yes. <laughs> or yep. level two. Well, uh, Kraz is level two, just because that's the character from uh, Joe's game. I see. I didn't have time to make a specific character. I was like, oh, we need a cleric here. Well, I'll just use my other one. Hmm. All right. Well, it looks like that. Okay, Funny so... Your AC is 14, so that would be two hits? Yeah, I think so. Try and do a... Uh... I remember. Maybe he will activate his immediate action, good devotion. Give him and... Allies within 30 feet, damage reduction 1. Just to boost it up a little bit. Okay. Um, it's damage reduction 1 good, right? Yeah. Or, or 1 slash evil. evil. Yeah. Okay, so he hits you for 3 points and 4 points. And as his tentacles uh, slap against you... He kind of grabs onto you and pulls you in and attempts to beak at you. All right. Does that good devotion feat also make our weapons good align so magic so magical? It does. Yep. Yeah. So this is for one minute. So Kraz takes one point of damage, I believe, from after DR, assuming the creature is evil. The creature is not evil. It is not evil. Ah, but he called it a serpent of evil. You should have corrected him. Okay. Yes. Um, and then he takes four points from the bite. Okay, so he has DR2 anyway from his armor. So he's going to take one, two, and two, right? Uh, yeah. No, he should take one, one, and one, because he has three points to damage reduction. Well, he has two points normally, it says. Yeah, and then you bigger. used your... Devotion gives you one more. Yeah, so I thought the way that stacked was that you have the he has one slash evil on top of the two slash nothing. So if the creature is not evil, then it. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse, sorry, I was mis just wasn't thinking. Yeah, you're right. So it's one two. Oh, right. It's actually just two two because the because you have magical resistance, it can go to zero. So. The first one would just be a zero. Okay. So it's two and two. Yep. And then it's Kraz's turn. Okay. So no point in casting in melee. I think he'll just do another full attack. I mean, I, I want to play the character better, but... I don't think this character deserves better. So he's just gonna... What do you mean he doesn't deserve better? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think that uh, he is a good character um, in his own mind. So 
And she can Holy shit. live and die as a character he wants to. Okay, so that's not a crit, but that's good damage, it looks like. That shot. is excellent damage. Cleaves <clears throat> the serpent in half. Well, this weapon is not magical, I believe. But your good devotion feat, you just use this mix and magic. Yeah, yeah, it says it makes it good it aligned. Makes it good. It oh, make yeah. Magic. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, he could bless his weapon or something, which is probably what he should be doing. But uh, I don't know how long the dungeon is. He doesn't know what he's in for exactly. Probably wouldn't be smart to use all his spells at once. Give it time. On fire to the rest. Okay. Sorry. So you're done, Kraz? Yes. You gotta learn how to use the push to talk. First step. Kills. Oh my god, the rogue is out of control. Yeah, that should kill him, because that's 10, and then puts him at minus 2. He goes down. And I still have my offhand to roll. Okay, um, I didn't uh, describe the uh, sewer, but each of these tunnels is basically a main uh, line for uh, waste. It's just sort of dripping through smaller tubes that come through the walls, runs down the walls into the trench in the center. So it's kind of nasty and disgusting down here. Three mm -hmm. tunnels. Uh, I'm gonna perception to see if I can hear noise coming from any. Okay. S -s 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 Seven. Crash will take a moment to uh, you hear my nothing. Myself. You have uh, lesser faith healings too. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to use it. Oh, he has leather face. I don't see that on his list. It says faith healing minor. Under zero levels. Min minor minor FH. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. That wasn't obvious. Okay. DM uses a lot of shorthand. Yeah. Okay. So how much does that heal? Just, Just three I plus see. one. It's three plus half his yeah. level. Yeah, I see. So it's four. So just Actually, you could just do a healing check on two points. Or four points. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess you might want to go with the full heal. Yeah, we'll, we'll just use the minor faith healing. Um, I, I have one other question about the notation you're using. So you list the horizons as three slash three slash two. So does that mean that uh, you've... Yeah. You get three zero level spells for being a cleric. You get three zero level spells for high wisdom and two for your domain. Mm -hmm. um, I okay. have subtracted one from that total to cast them spontaneous. So those five spells there, you can cast like a sorcerer. Okay. Okay. So I see. So he'll just use one to spontaneously cast the minor. All right, thanks. Okay, where are you guys going next? I say we just start with the north one, work our way around. Joe, you on treasure? Yeah, I can be.
Okay, wherever you're going, go. Well, Mr. Kraz, you're the light source. Lead the way. Says the rogue who was sneaking up before. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. I'll sneak up. Uh, north. That's a 25 on stealth, and then another perception check when I get close. That's a one on perception. You hear nothing. Um, I look back at the party and uh, let them know. Let's let's check out this room. There's a room up here. Hmm. Let's. I feel like I should be frontlining. Me and the monk should be frontlining with our. <laughs> But who wants to frontline? Like, who do you think All is... All right, level one, I've got an AC of 20, which is not bad. Mm, that's pretty good. That I thought poverty. it was 21. Did you change something? Uh, no, it's 20. Three dex, three wisdom, uh, four for BOP, and... Your wisdom's only... Oh, yeah, because you... Oh, wait, never. No, it is 21. I forgot. We did change. We bumped wisdom up. I was just going to say, as a monk, you want your wisdom as high as possible. All right, I'm going to creep up to. The... 33 for stealthing to the door. Do I see anything? Um, you look around oh, inside the room. Um, this looks like another hub, like uh, where you came in, where it's just all the uh, the pipes from this area converging on this one room, and then they just dump into the middle of the room. In the uh, northeast corner, there appears to be a small nest. A small net? Nest. Nest. Um, seeing as we just killed something that came from here, I'm going to go check it out. In the small nest, you find a delightful pile of CR3 treasure. I didn't roll any treasure. I didn't have time to do that much prep. Cool. Well, I look back and I say we found loot. Let's go, let's go check the other tunnel. All right. Where to now? Uh, let's go east. Again, stealth and down. Eighteen's your perception. Uh, yeah, no, eighteen was stealth. My perception is twenty. Okay, you can hear like a soft, repeating ticking sound, just like. Oh, I hear hear something something very very weird down there. I hear like a ticking, weird ticking, vibrating sound. Perhaps it is the source of the disturbances. We should investigate. Does the anybody way. have knowledge engineering? Negative. 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 Never mind.
You forgot the dynamic lighting over here, didn't you? Yeah, he did, I think. Oh, Whoa. yeah. I didn't even notice that. What the fuck is that? Dear Lord, Sept. I just kind of look at the party. Um. I think we found. I think we found something. Hmm. There you go. Fix the wall. That's funny. I remember zooming out and checking all the areas, and I don't know how I missed that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Big wormy tentacle thing coming down the hall at you. Okay. Uh... Right. If we have time, then maybe back up. Get to cast a buff or two first. Retreat, uh, charge in the opposite direction. I am totally fine with this plan. As I as I double move, <laughs> it's a tactical retreat. We will okay, well, roll initiative before you guys take a turn. New. Pl- Actually, I'm not using a weapon. That bumps me up to five. Okay, Odo, you go first. I tell everyone to fall back. As you move forward. Yes. And that's it. That's all you're doing? Yep. Odd or even, Odo? Even. You're the target. <laughs> the okay. fuck is the so He's plus three, so it's 17 is the only one who hits. So you can roll your fortitude save versus paralysis. Oh, my lord. Nice. I think that's high enough, too. Does he get eight attacks? Yep. You realize this we're level one, right? Yep. He also realized like one shot that dire with forty damage in one hit. Yeah, it's only a DC thirteen check, I think. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's an easy check to make. Yeah, it's not hard to make the check, and it doesn't do any damage. Okay, uh, Flynn, you're up. Um, I look, and I... Can I... Just by... It would be possible to double move. Am I small enough to get... Some sort of acrobatic? Um, you can move through a threatened... Or through an occupied square with a DC uh, 25... Acrobatics? That'd be kind of challenging, though. Fuck it. <laughs> rolled a, uh, I rolled a five to get. I don't make. Do I? Do I take a lot of damage for going through? Hang on, or... I'm just gonna check. I think if you fail the check, you just uh, don't succeed in getting through. I kind of just stay where I am and waste my move action. I think you'd actually fall prone in uh, Odo Square. Note to self, higher acrobatics needed.
even though that's max rank I can get. Oh, no, you you just provoke an attack of opportunity as you go through, so he will uh, attack you. So, but I make it through? Yep, you can make it through. Okay. Um, and he gets a 15, which is a miss on you, so you're good to go. Um, now, that would be double move, because I only have 20 feet of movement as a halfling, and I have to double move. No, you get 30 as a halfling. Oh, okay. The PB, the P player's handbook says 20. Pretty sure your character says 30. No, I have 20 on my character sheet. Uh, it's fine. I'll be fine with 30. Um, okay, well then, I can make two attacks. Yep. Short sword. Oh, so close to a crit. Mm. We actually no, did the uh, math back in the 90s for halflings height to weight ratio, or weight to strength ratio, and they would have no trouble moving faster than humans, actually. Okay, cool. Um, my dagger crit, so let's just do that real quick. First roll is short sword. And then my dagger, confirm crit. Um, that luck won't even confirm that, so it just does max Okay. So to total, it's going to be. Hold on, you rolled a twelve for your confirm. Oh wait, to confirm, yeah, I rolled a twelve. A luck armor confirm, class or flanking. But oh yeah, that, I'm gonna luck that just so it's a confirm. Okay. Oh, babe. I do 37 points of damage. Any questions about the CR4? <laughs> I one shot the big bot that month. And you were worried about doing damage as a small guy. <laughs> God, this is fucking mental. And that was a one on my sneak attack. Yep. Okay, so you take out the waste worm. I just kind of smirk. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize rogues were this powerful at level one. Kraz is probably just spellbound. He's like, what gods do you pray to? Should be tomorrow, but he picked here. One would think tomorrow. Yeah, but I, did, I wanted to play be lawful good, not lawful chaotic. No, I get it. Um, Kraz, you notice right away that there's some unusual twists and turns in this uh, section of the uh, sewer. And the sanitation worker you talked to told you that in, uh, in the areas where uh, some of the noble houses are, the tunnels were made confusing intentionally to keep people from using them as a way to uh, move around those neighborhoods. Mm. Shall we continue? Yes. And Kras will point that out to the others and say that um, um, those with the power and means crafted these tunnels to subdue the weak, prevent them from using them for simple travel and accommodation. Okay, good to know. Uh, when I go, I'm gonna sneak around. Mm. 
rolling a 31 on my sneak to go in down here. And I'm going to poke my head. My fucking stealth is on point, but my perception is awful. Yeah, you haven't rolled anything but double digits for stealth so far. It's hard to gnaw when my one is still a 14. No, I meant the die rolls. Obviously, 31 is a ridiculous stealth check, but you rolled a 16 on the die, so that's fairly significant in and of itself. That's true. Um, does my 8 see anything around the fuck? No, you see nothing. <laughs> God damn it. You perceive nothing. Uh, well, I see nothing, guys. I think it's fine. I think we're okay. And I, I kind of tell him to stop there. Come on. Thirty-three for stealth. Fucking nine for for set. You perceive nothing again. Holy shit! I'm the sneakiest, fucking worst listener ever. I hear nothing around the corner, guys. I think it's safe. Yeah, you should go check it out. Uh, can I see that giant rat? Yeah, I, I see a giant rat. Yeah, anything you can see, you can see. I'm assuming that's initiative. Am I flat-footed if I come around the corner and see? Yep, you're flat-footed until initiative. Holy bejesus. Is there really plus 11 to initiative? Natural weapons, man. Yeah, they get three for dex, four for size, and four for improved initiative. Oh, well, damn. Yeah, being small has a lot of advantages. Normally, Wait, do I get a bonus? One of them. Do I get a bonus to my initiative speed for being smaller? Yeah, you're size small. You get plus four to your initiative, and you get plus four to your skills, for to your strength and deck skills. So, so when I'm rolling a strength check, I get a plus four to. No, to... not to a strength check, to strength skills. Okay. Like athletics, acrobatics, um, and riding. the acrobatics. I think that's already taken into consideration on your character. I think you get two for being a halfling and four for your size. I got that under stealth, just not my acrobatics or any other dex check. And I don't have it on my initiative either. I just have my weapon skill and my dex. Yeah, being a halfling rogue is really nasty. If you live long enough to do anything about it. Okay, so the uh, rats uh, see the light and turn and head down the hall. Okay, so the rat to the south can make it to you and attack. So you said all dex skills? Yeah, all your dexterity skills, you get your size modifier too. Christ, this is... Strength is only athletics, to my knowledge. I don't think there's any other strength skills. That's fine. And uh, the rat rolls a total of 11 against you, Flynn. Then it's Odo's turn. Five foot, and then I'm going to... Tumble the here. It's twenty-five to go through threatened square. 
or through an occupied square. All right, they can take their attack. Almost. <laughs> Maybe we're getting a little bit too carefree. I suspect Joe is going to be pretty cocky when he realizes nothing can hit him. <laughs> and I miss badly. Okay, then we're on to Kraz. Hmm. Don't have any direct damage spells, so we'll use a direct damage sword. Looks like it's just enough. Remember, we're flanking it. Yeah, it's flanked, so you get plus two extra. Not that it matters, but so you're aware. Okay, I thought that uh, I wasn't flanking, but if you're doing it that way. The way I do flanking is the creature is flanked, and everyone gets plus two against it. Okay. It's useful. Average damage, 15. Okay. Just noted on a, the character or on the monster, and then we're Oops. on to Flynn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just smack the rat. That's almost. First attack is wow. The first time I rolled shit, so that was my short sword, and then. Um, dagger's almost a crit, but it's not so. Um, I do a total of 11 points of damage. Okay, I think that's enough to kill it. And then I'm done. Mr. Kraz gonna roll. Sorry. I totally didn't think it was my turn. Yeah, I'm still thrown off by the way you do. Oh, just for initiative just for initiative. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, we're just waiting for initiative roll. Sorry. Right. I just assumed you were busy doing something. No, I was not paying attention, but I wasn't doing anything. I'm still not used to all the house. No, no worries. worries. Okay, so the rat will continue to attack uh, Flynn. Missing again. Holy shit. I can't do anything. Flynn, you're up. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> Can I five foot and just hold my, my <laughs> standard? Or do I have to hold my whole turn? Uh, generally you either delay or go. I'm just going to delay. I want that sweet succulent flame. Okay. Graz, you're up. All right. I guess I'll use his best debuff, which is death. Looks like a hit. A mighty hit. Alright. That'll be turning. Okay, Odo, you're up. Missing horribly. And Flynn, last but not least. I moved down, and then I'm going to uh, short sword. 
Misfit short sword, and then Misfit the rape or with the dagger too. Wow. With the dagger, wow! <laughs> Failure the across the board. That's it for me. Okay, the rat turns on Kraz. And viciously bites him. For a whopping two points. And with two DR, that is a whopping zero point. No, the minimum's still one unless you have your magic ah. ore on. Okay, then one. Uh, and then you can roll your fortitude save versus filth fever. World 20 is taking for 19. More than enough. Okay, Odo, you're up. I'm done. Joe, you're a tax star. What is happening? Go, Flynn. I rolled a 1 and a 2, and then a 20. Oh my god, did I just re roll exactly what I rolled? <laughs> DPK from a single rat. Go. Uh, Kraz, you're up. Right. Once again, it falls to the paladin. I mean, cleric. <clears throat> well, roll well, of course, because the gods favor him today. Wow, you've been rolling really well, too. Yeah, I don't think he's missed an attack. Okay. So you uh, automatically kill him, no, even if you roll double one. That is certain death for the poor innocent rat. Innocent rat, that rat was blessed by the fucking by the devil himself. I just kind of look at the rat and kick it like that was was one tough mother. But let's move on. Tunnels aren't clearing themselves. We will find more rodents of unusual size. 28 for stealth going to here. Twenty-two to go here, and then perception. Oh, twenty-three and perception. Do I hear anything from any of these tunnels? Uh, to the south, you can hear some chittering. I look back and kind of do a hand motion to say, let's go south. Kind of do like a, I hear something south, charades. South it is. Um, J John, how much would it be to get a permanent dark vision? Just out of curiosity, because I feel like having a dark vision would be super handy. Dark vision would be awesome as rogue. Um, for permanency, probably a few thousand gold pieces plus the uh, casting. So probably like seven k, seven thousand gold pieces. No, probably more in the three to five. I'd have to actually do the math. But uh, I think Dark Vision is an hour per level spell. And uh, Permanency is a fifth level spell. So it would just be a matter of opening up a dock and doing the math to figure out how much it costs. Okay. Or or just even getting how much would a wand Dark Vision be? Because can I use, cause, uh, use magic device as part of my class skills? Can I use magic? You could get a wand of uh, dark vision. It would probably 
in the long term cost you just as much or more as having it cast permanently. Depends on how mm -hmm. often you use it. Like if you're casting dark vision every day, uh, second level wands a few grand in and of itself. Okay, because yeah, I've missed dark vision. I like dark vision. Yeah, it's the primary reason to play a dwarf. It's absolutely awesome, particularly in roll twenty where you have the uh, dynamic lighting. It makes a huge difference. Right. But well, even I've... with your low light, I make low light vision work like dark vision. You just get shitty dark vision. So yeah. everything is foggy, but you still see just as far as normal. Fair enough. All right. Well, then I guess I'm going to sneak down and see if I figure out. It's 20 on my stack. So can does it hear me? Um, it doesn't hear you, but it is uh, moving up towards you. Like, can I move there and try to get a strip jump up? You can try. Twenty nine stealth right there. Okay, uh, you want to roll a reflex uh, save? 19. He uh, slithers down the hall past you without noticing you. Oh, buddy, let's do it. All right, well, I guess it's initiative. I'm a sneaky little rogue. Sneaky to sneaky little rogue. Yeah, at first level, you're already out of control. <laughs> I'm surprised this character worked out like this. Like, I'm out of fucking control. I'm not the least bit shocked mathematically, but you are the first person to actually play a uh, halfling rogue in a real game. There was a girl who played one in, the, or wanted to play one in the noob game, but I don't think that ever materialized. Yeah, people like their extra feet, but when I when Joe Fett pointed out the Strongheart Halfling for the extra feet, I'm like, I am definitely. Okay, Odo, you're up first. I hit for once. <laughs> Well, let's see if it goes both ways. Kraz, you're up. Kraz will run up. Maybe charge here and say, even the snakes have snakes. And bye-bye, centipede. Or not. Crit. It was a charge, right? So plus two damage then, right? Charge is just plus two to hit. Oh, it's... All right, turn. And I'm going to come up and kill Steel. Kill Steel. I hit with both. It's dead. My sneak attack kills As it turns around, and I'm just sm I'm just grinning. Yeah, I'm surprised not more people play halfling rogues. This is ridiculous. I think the big reason is the movement. A lot of people don't like twenty movement, which was one of the reasons I got rid of it. Other than the math, I think I posted the uh, video from dorks of yore that was about the math uh, they did it more recently like in the early 2000s but same basic premise 
fair enough. Might be also the having to use the small weapons that might deter people. People like doing a lot yeah, of damage. Do, using a small weapon sucks. So being able to use like my masterwork weapons do more damage. So that is another incentive. Like using a short sword as the equivalent of a long sword kind of sucks. But then by the same token, um, you uh, can take the masterwork one. You know, it just occurred to me. You're cheating. What am I doing? Um, a short sword for a halfling is a one-handed weapon, not a finesse weapon. It's effectively yeah. a long sword. So I wouldn't be. You should be using two dagger, two daggers. Okay, I thought the that's what we, that's what we agreed on first, and then you're like, take. We did, and I just got the brain fart of halfling and short sword, and halflings can use short swords, but for a short for a halfling, it's a uh, a one-handed weapon. So yeah, not a big deal. Just switch it back to a D6. So just switch it to a D6 and switch to it. Yeah, just make it a masterwork dagger. Refund yourself your cash, and go from there. It's like ten gold. I really don't care. That's fine. They're both super. Okay. Um. Everyone can roll a perception check. Fifteen. I'm gonna go hide in the corner. Is that fifteen your perception or your hide? Fifteen is perception. And then, uh, did it roll? Sorry, perception's one lower, so the 19th. And then 27 died. Ignore that 20. Don't know what happened there. Okay, what was the 27? 27 was my high. Okay. Um, Odo, you hear something, uh, coming down the hallway. Kraz, you also hear it. Although Odo can probably see it at this point. Yes, I can. I whisper. I'm just going to stay in the corner. Okay. Anyone taking any actions? I'm ready in my two daggers, but other than that, I think uh, Kraus will, I will step back. attempt a stealth check. Where are you stealthing to? Right here on this wall. I hide while in plain sight. <laughs> While you very covertly hide against the wall, the uh, centipede moves up and bites you. Missing horribly. Well, that just bumped my initiative way the fuck up for using. T well, it's only one point difference between a dagger and a short sword. Plus, I added my size modifier to it. Yep, you as a halfling with a twenty dexterity should pretty much always go first. And then Pat improved initiative on there. Oof. Yes, dear. All right. I don't think you put your centipede on the initiative. I did not. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to move that. Okay. Roll your acrobatics. 30. 
off the chart. And then double stabby stab. Uh, first one's miss, second one. Ten, sixteen points. Okay. Uh, then the centipede turns on you. Doesn't like sneaky rogues. Uh oh. That's a hit. He bites you for six points, and then you can roll your poison save. Rogue down. Rogue. It's only a DC of 11, but it's dex damage. Oh, I made it. Barely. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Kraz. I don't get a turn? Be Odo. No, we don't like Odo. Sorry, thought you went in already, Joe. All right. He's dead. Okay, then. That uh, was pretty quick, too. Although it is only a CR1, so it shouldn't be that surprising. I walk up to the clerk and point out a boob boob. Mm. Got clerk. Touch me in an inappropriate place. Hey, do a heel check first. 